Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the X-Tool brand. They're in plus IP508 or 508 OBD2 scanner diagnostic tool, six services, Android 10, and has KNFD ABS SRS engine transmission car code reader with ABS bleeding oil reset EPB SAS BMS throttle free updates. This is the box that came in. Let's open this up, take a look how it's sent. So we have a kind of a quick guide talking about uh, the adapter that's included and information about the software update and after sales service on here. There's even a phone number to call them. So you're gonna have uh, support and a quick start guide and a user manual that you could scan right there. So here's the product itself. It's nicely contained in here, and we're gonna show you what it comes with the cables on the side here. So here's everything out of the box. First thing I'm gonna let you know is this has a full two year warranty from the manufacturer and free lifetime software updates. And this product gets excellent customer ratings and 30 days return and replacement policy and 24 seven support with the US hotline number, they give the phone number from Monday, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So I did some uh, research, and since 1996, OBD-2 became mandatory for all cars manufactured in the United States. So that's what this is. This is an OBD-2 scanner tool that lets you read. So it's ideal auto scanner for do-it-yourselfers, home mechanics, retired technicians to pinpoint issues on four major systems and ABS, SRS, AT engine systems to read or clear faults, reset warning lights, read ECU information, view live data graphing. Like other brands, this tool allows you to register and update the scanner via the PC, which is really nice. Uh, with just one click, you could uh, get CAN-FD protocol intended for GM 2020 plus cars. Save lots of bucks from repair shops by performing resets for yourself. A lot of times you do something like you don't put the gas cap closed and you get a warning indicator on your car that will allow you to reset that. Now there's a lot of different functions on here. Uh, oil reset, EPD reset, ABS bleeding, throttle re relearn, BMS reset. SAS reset. So your vehicle is unique and this is going to allow you to look at what's unique to your vehicle and allow you to diagnose what might be happening. And a lot of the things that happen sometimes are even with the engine and the input port, the air going in, the fuel mixture. This is going to allow you to diagnose and look at some of that stuff. If your vehicle failed emission testing and it needs repair, repair work typically starts a lot of money. This tool will allow you to diagnose that 10 modes of OBD2 standard to ensure complete system diagno diagnosis and pass small checks, including read and clear codes, view live data, freeze frame data, vehicle info, check the readiness status of the O2 monitor, things like that. Great money saver to make a, help you out with your vehicle if it didn't pass an emission test. So we're gonna uh, try this out on my car. I have an older 2012 Hyundai um, Elantra wagon, and I know the port's on there. I'm gonna try it out. What also nice is this is a nice display, Android 10, and you can see right on here, it's got a full color display. There's also a note here about diagnostic printer reports. You're not gonna directly connect this. You have to do it via the Wi-Fi. They do tell you how to do that if you wanna print out some uh, status and diagnostics. So I did scan that code right there, and I do have the directions right on my Pixel 6. If you want to get a manual that's, uh, you can get a PDF file, you could, uh, to avoid just scanning this if you can't read it on your phone, you could also contact, send an email to support1 at xtooltech.com, contact them with an email asking for the manual, you can even tell them what car you're going to be testing it on and they'll get back to you with some support information. So I'm looking at the manual right here that I scanned. 
just wanted to show you the operation of this, the basic operation before we power it on. You can see you got your power switch right there. This is a 12 volt barrel connection, doesn't come with that. There's a, an adapter you could get if you want to power this and charge it with 12 volts. This is the data port that the cable is going to connect to for the data transfer from your car. And this is the USB-A port that's going to allow you to use the included cable for charging and it's also used for data. And again it has the USB-A adapter that allow you to charge it using that port right there. So you can see it comes with a 5 volt um, adapter with a USB-A on there and you just push this button and you could put different adapters on there. I'm in the US be that. So they have other adapters available depending on where you live in the world. And then of course it comes with a USB-A USB -A cable. This could be used for data uh, so that you can transfer updates, things like that. And then the cable itself is Velcroed on here. And uh, it's very nice and long. I like that. It's about six feet long. And there's the part that goes right to the unit itself. And this part goes to your OBD2 port right there. Now one thing I want to say is there's a lot of cheap units on Amazon. And I own this one right here. I won't really show the brand, but uh, this has got such a short cable that you end up having this on your front seat and you could barely see the display because it's far from your vision and hard to work with. So forget about that. We're going to go with this one now, the X-Tool brand, because it's got a long cable and it's really professional. So it's very easy to charge it. I have the included adapter in here with the USB-A cable going into the USB-A port on the device. This is breathing and blinking and I can hit that and I can get a status on there. It could also be charged while you're connected to your computer with the OB2 port. It will also send 12 volts to the unit, very similar to the barrel connector right there, and allow the unit to be charged while you're using it. And that's really smart so that you don't run out of energy while you're diagnosing your vehicle. So now the device is fully charged and I held this power button down and it's asking me to select the language, which is English. Product needs to be activated. So there is a Wi-Fi connection on here. So you can see it's going to attempt to connect to my local Wi-Fi. And it sees one of the Wi-Fi connections right there. And I'm going to put the password in to connect. Now it's asking me for my email address. And activation was successful. And you see it's initializing data. And now it came up. And you can see that there is an update button right here. And you can see it's got all the different updates for the different cars. So we're going to hit update all. So it's going to take a long time because there's a lot of updates. So it gives you the status, which is really nice. And you can see the, uh, the battery level right there. And what's downloading is also on there, the percentage and everything, and the megabytes and so forth. And now it says all software is up to date. Now we're ready to use the device. So as you can see, this is a functioning tablet. You got Chrome, Explorer, Diagnosis, Gallery, Settings, and these other control buttons on the bottom like Volume Plus, Volume Minus, Play, Home button. And it's pretty cool when you go to the internet, it goes right to their website so that you can get some more information and even look for manuals and things like that. But it goes right directly to their website. So here I am on my 2012 Elantra Touring. Have the unit connected. Did another update. And there is the OB2 connection right there. You have to kind of get on your knees to get it. So we're going to uh, start the car and run some tests. So I restarted it and I have the car running at the ignition on. Got my garage door open so that the exhaust fumes don't come in my garage. So it's doing its uh, boot up routine. So there's the home screen. There are some updates on here. I'm doing an auto scan. So it's doing uh, engine control, ECM, normal, no DC, electronic stability control, 
at the failure of my transaxle, normal, normal, normal. So this thing, electronic stability control, failed. So I'm not sure what that means. Let's hit the diagnosis button right here. Read codes. Steering angle sensor circuit signal. Hit the report button right there. Save it. Hit the back button. There's live data right here. So there you can see it's got the engine speed and I can accelerate and it goes up. Vehicle speed is zero obviously. Throttle position is set to 5.9. So I just cleared that trouble code because I don't think that's correct so I cleared it out so that I don't have it show up as a fault if I ever get to the uh, dealership. Now that I cleared that out, the electronic stability control shows normal on there. Tire pressure monitoring system, normal body control module, motor driven power steering, transmitter code saving, engine control, automatic transaxle. So you see there's a lot of information that you're getting as the car is running and that's really nice. Engine control, you got electronic stability control airbags if I hit airbags gives a part number part name no trouble code there's nothing wrong with it and then of course you can go to live data apparently no data stream for that it even has a weight classification on there information about the airbag OMAC transaxle boot number ECU number right there vehicle manufacturer number. So there's a lot of information on here um, that you could get individually about the car. So it's in the database and that's nice. So every time you do an update you're going to get more information on here. So if I had left my gas cap open and I got a fault I'd be able to clear that out. So always do your updates because that's important and uh, there's a special function button on there BMS reset throttle ABS bleeding SAS oil reset you can look online and you can read about all these different options on here what they do so I already had auto detected that this is just another way to go through and make sure that you're looking at the right vehicle And again, you've got here. You got settings. That's for the language and so forth. And here is the update button again. And there is two updates for Hyundai on there. So I'm going to update those right here while I'm using the device in the car. And that's what's nice is this update is built right in, very easy to use, and you're going to be able to get updates on your vehicles. You can see right there it's doing Kia and Hyundai. So as you can see there's a lot of information on this display and this thing is connected very reliably and you could just see a lot going on and if you're not a mechanic you could look online and you could search for those messages to see what they are and again you can reset codes and so forth. So this thing uh, worked flawlessly for this vehicle my 2012 Hyundai Elantra Touring. And I just noticed that you can get the user manual PDF file right on the device, which is nice. So here I found that you could uh, look live data, and I could actually uh, look at the steering wheel position on there real time, letting me know that the steering wheel sensors are working correctly for the power steering. And that's real handy if you had a power steering issue. So after testing, what do I think about the X-Tool brand? They're in plus IP508 OBD2 scanner. Great product, two year warranty, free lifetime software updates. I'll show you how easy it was to update this. Everything worked, I showed it working on my car and uh, just really impressive how much information you could get. Power supply is included as I showed, the cable to keep it powered and all the main connections on the back. 
and of course this nice long cable to connect this. Really nice product, really thought out, and uh, I called the customer support number and they were very helpful with any questions I had and that's a direct number to them. So I really like this product. I'm gonna give it a full five star rating. Please remember hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you alert to new video uploads. And if you thought this review was helpful, please hit the like button. There'll be an ordering link in the information section of this video review. Please use that link when you order this product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.